Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And here it is question number four for our AI interview preparation series. We have already discussed the three important questions and their link is mentioned in the description section. Do watch them as well. So if the question in your front that what are underfitting and overfitting conditions, then how to explain it? So let's try to explain it in a way that your interviewer feel, feel that you know each and everything about this topic with the help of examples and basic real world scenarios. So starting from the definition, basically whenever you are heading the term underfitting, you need to answer it that basically underfitting is a condition of machine learning model when very much simple patterns are going to be captured or underlying pattern of the data can be captured by the model, which is only going to figure out very simple patterns, right? So basically model will perform very poorly on the training data as well as on the new data. It means that training data, training is also poor. And because of that, whatever new data will come for testing purpose, there also it will show poor results, right? So such kind of conditions, whenever our model is very much simple, so it will not understand the complex pattern or something very important pattern inside that such kind of condition is called as underfitting. So in simple terms, a model is not complex enough to learn nonsense and variations present in the data and due to which we are not going to explore the important properties of that data set that is underfitting conditions, right? So if you want to explain it with the help of an example, you can set the example like let's consider a regression task where we want to predict house prices based on their size. So whatever is the size of houses based on that, we are going to predict the prices, right? So we are going to train a linear regression model over that, which is very much too simple, right? Now, what is the scenario? We are having a data set of house prices, right? So here, let's say we are having data set of prices and uh, here uh, we are having the size of house size of house, right? Now we are trying to fit this particular condition on a linear line. Let's say if I want to set the linear conditions, I want to fit it under uh, linear regression, likewise that let's say. So what will happen? This model will try to fit into a straight line to the data. So it is not going to cover something which is very much complex or something which is outside of that data line, right? So what is the issue? Issue is that if the true relationship between house size and price is non-linear, let's say if there is some data points where the relationship between the size of house and price of house is non-linear, that kind of data will not going to be performed well on that, right? So this model is going to underfit the data. We are underfitting the data, right? It will unable to capture complex pattern and variations which is present in data set. So what will be the result? The result will be, it is going to have high training year because while we have trained the model, we didn't uh, uh, get the point that if non-linear data relationship is also there, then what will happen? Due to which there might be chances of high training error. And due to high training error, the performance of the model will be poor on the new data, right? So the thing is that uh, underfitting model is too simple which is failed to capture some new pattern, some underlying pattern, some complex pattern, and due to which it is going to perform poorly on new data as well as on training data. So what is the solution? Solution is that whenever you are having underfitting condition, use more complex model and more features or reduce regularization, right? This is how you need to explain them the underfitting condition. Now, if anybody will ask you overfitting condition, then what is overfitting condition? Overfitting condition when a machine learning model is too complex means now your machine learning model is very much uh, intelligent. It is very much complex means it is learning training data as well as whatever uh, whatever kind of noise or whatever kind of uh, unnecessary detail is also there like noise or nonsense. It is also going to capture the pattern of that which is going to impact it negatively. Right. So it will impact models performance. So what will happen that whenever you will train the data. So on the training data set on training data set, your model will perform very good. Your model may give 100% accuracy, but when new data will come, when testing data will come, 
at that time your this model will perform poorly why because that model have also captured a noise into that right and due to which uh, the new data will be not going to have that much accuracy it, in that condition it may have poorly uh, output right so if you want to explain this with the help of an example uh, continuing with the same example of house prediction so let's say we are using a very high complex polynomial regression model with degree 20 to fit the same data set of house prices and size so what is the issue here the polynomial regression model will fit the training data whatever training data we are having let's say 80 percent training data or 70 percent training data generally we use and on that data it is performing extremely well near 200 percent because it have learned each and every uh, complexity of the data uh, and each and every pattern it have captured including the noise and everything other which is not also the uh, having any kind of uh, relevance right so in that case the result would be while the polynomial regression model achieve low training error because while we have having training data uh, error would be low right why error would be low it is perfectly learning each and everything which is also not required and required right so it will likely perform poorly when new or unseen data will be there because it have also learned some noisy noisy kind of data which is not of that much uh, featureable right so uh, this model will struggle to generalize and it is going to lead with higher error rate when predicting price for houses is outside the training data set right so uh, exactly in summary we can say that this model overfitting model is very much complex it is too much complex it learns noise and other details also of the training data and performs exceptionally well in training data but poorly on new data that is overfitting that is what this is overfitting now what is the solution of overfitting the solution is use simple model which in which you need to reduce the number of features like let's say if you want to differentiate between a cow and if you want to differentiate uh, between a human so obviously we know that if there is a four legs then by default you know four legs means it would be cow not human so such kind of features you can take but if you are taking the feature like two eyes so obviously human also have two eyes cow also have two eyes such kind of features we need to remove right because these are the features which is going to perform well in the uh, training data but such kind of feature will lead difficulty in the unseen data right so uh, it will uh, uh, one more solution is to reduce the number of features increase regularization or use techniques like cross validation and early stopping right so i hope that uh, overfitting and uh, underfitting is very much clear to each and everyone here i hope if any doubt you are having please feel free to ask and uh, have a nice day guys if you have any doubt you can ask please subscribe don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a nice day